We do 94.1 KTFM. What's up? I'm Nick and Knight here with the lovely Carly Rae Jepsen. How you doing? I'm doing well. Did I say your name right? You did. I've been practicing because uh, the, I always <laughs> put the J on the R. I was saying Carly J, and I was like, Nick, you got to stop saying Carly J. It's I've Carly, Carly J. Carly J is kind of cute. You can call me Carly J. All right. It's got a little uh, ring to it. All right. So um, <laughs> first, uh, you, you had a number one song in Canada's Hot 100. First person to do it since Justin Bieber, which is huge. What's that like being in that position? Uh, it's still kind of hard to believe. It's really, it's really cool, though. Nice. Now, um, you have 18 million views on YouTube. I just looked. <laughs> now, uh, I imagine that's really cool, too. But what's that like? You know, what is it like when you watch that grow? Like, how fast did it grow? Did you kind of were you monitoring? Like, oh, my gosh, look, we're at 100,000 now. Oh, we're at 500,000. Um, just... Well, it was kind of cool because there was two videos kind of blowing up at the same time. There was uh, the video that we, Ben Nexel, uh, a friend of mine from Canada, directed and we did together. And then there was the Justin and Selena Gomez video that just kind of, like, exploded. So... Uh, seeing people kind of listen to the song and kind of make the cute videos that have kind of started becoming contagious after mm -hmm. that has been uh, probably the coolest part of the whole thing, to be honest. Now, uh, to have the endorsement of Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez like that, because they have their whole little relationship going on and they're so yeah. major in the news right now, um, like, did they tell you ahead of time they were going to do that or did that just kind of catch you by surprise? Or It was a total shock for me. I, um, I don't know if they meant it as a surprise, but it definitely came as one. I... Um, Ended up signing with Interscope, I think, and Schoolboy about two days or a day before as they released that video. And right. then when the video came out, I kind of felt like they really mean it. This is this is awesome. Yeah, you could tell they were enjoying themselves. Yeah. Like they had a blast with that. And yeah. um, now, the song "Call Me Maybe." Yeah. Now, you're. I'm assuming that's you giving your number to somebody, or and then you're like, "Hey, well, call me maybe." It's kind of like a flirty sound, like because usually if a girl said "Call me maybe," I would mean that it means don't call her. I think you should call her. You call her if she says call me maybe? It's definitely my attempt of a pickup, yeah. Okay, all right, cool, yeah. cool. Because I, I was, wasn't sure how to take that. Because, like I said, maybe can be kind of one of those words where you're like, yeah, call me maybe. You know what I mean? Oh, no, <laughs> she, I, I'm playing coy, but but I would say call the girl. Okay, that's what's up. Now, uh, so do you give out your number? And not right now, no. Okay, well, I'm, I mean, I'm like, taking woman right now. It would okay. be kind of wrong. <laughs> so do you, I remember back in the day when getting the phone number was... Mm -hmm the biggest deal ever. Like, I, I mean, I was probably kind of young, but man, I got her phone number. It was the coolest thing ever. Now it's like Facebook. Like, um, can I add you on Facebook? It's almost like that's the, the norm that's instead of the phone That's the new number. way. Yeah. There was the MySpace era too. Do yeah. you remember that? Yeah. yeah, like are you on MySpace yeah. and you hit each other up? And it's almost like that's the easier way to get to know each other before the phone number. You know yeah, I mean? it's a safe it's a safe way to test the waters. But I think with this particular song, I kind of, uh, I like the idea of when you kind of meet someone and there's that face-to-face, -face, like, initial feeling of, like, mm -hmm. there's something here that you're brave enough to, like, act on it. For sure. Yeah. yeah. They, they, um, no guts, no glory, right? Exactly. Now, um, now, Call Me Maybe is on your Curiosity album. And uh, what can we expect from this album? Because like, I I, it hit stores recently in February. Actually, it's, a, it's an EP, and it's only okay. released in Canada because we want to do, like, a worldwide release of uh, the CD here. In, oh, uh, so we can't get our hands on it yet? Oh, well, you can if you if you go to Canada oh, nice. iTunes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have to check it out. Then. Yeah. And uh, but you can also go on YouTube. I was just kind of looking through a few of the songs on there too. Yeah, so. exactly. Now I noticed that the the album before was, was Tug of War. Is that right? Tug of War. You got it. Now Tug of War is a little bit different sounding than the songs I heard in this new one. Like, what was the difference? Um. Well, I think it was just the natural progression of me as an artist. As when I look back at it, I grew up kind of in a family that really loved James Taylor and uh, Ricky Lee Jones and Van Morrison. So it kind of makes sense that my first album was very folky and had a little bit more roots to it. And um, just my tastes have changed. As I've, as I've toured with different bands and as I've just kind of grown as a woman, I I really embraced like Robin and LaRue and Dragonette. And uh, I don't know why my sound came out the way it did, but that's felt that's the most cool. natural. It, it, it definitely, you sound like a pop star now. Oh, yeah. well, okay. now, <laughs> thank you. Um, so Scooter Braun's quote is saying that you see yourself as a sexy hippie. Now, I you... like that he's spreading this around. <laughs> I, I, I didn't quite say it like that. Um, more like when I'm thinking of style, I kind of go for like flower child of pop. Like I like things that are a little like hippie-ish and loose, but I also, you know. I... You're rocking the bangs. I'm rocking the bangs. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm not saying that's totally hippie, but I mean, that's, <laughs> it's kind of old school. I mean, not everybody can pull it off. Thank you, I think. <laughs> now, um, so did you, how much of the writing did you do for the Curiosity album? Um, there was uh, some co-writers involved as well, but I, I wrote on every song that was mine, except for Joni Mitchell, that was a cover. Mm -hmm. But uh, Tavish Crow uh, and Josh Ramsey helped with Call Me Maybe. And then my longtime uh, writing and collaborating partner, Ryan Stewart, was also involved in a few of those songs. So. And um, before we get, you're gonna do a little acoustic set for us. Before we do it, what's the best piece of advice anyone's ever given you? Um, to find what it is about you that is different and hone in on it, rather than try to shape up and be like everybody else. So what makes you different? 
Well, apparently I'm a sexy hippie. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. So you want to introduce uh, our, your guitarist I'm to us here? Joking. Yeah, hey, yeah, come on now. Um, yeah, these, this is Travis. Uh, this is my, my good friend for many years. And he's very charismatic here. Manirka. Oh, my gosh. I can never pronounce his last name right. And uh, Travis Crow. And, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, you, Would you uh, like the us floor to sing is yours. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Should we, like, find um, our way around?